I'm back, I'm live, I'm here in my kitchen, and today we are going to talk about something that every girl struggles with, well, at least I think every girl struggles with, and that is bloat. Bloat is a real thing, guys, and it's not just on your period or when Aunt Flo is in town, okay? The first product that I wanna tell you guys about, and this is a product that I've talked a lot about on Instagram story, is Inulin, okay? This is by The Method, and it's simply Inulin, and it's just plain Inulin. Inulin is artichoke root, and it's a prebiotic. Now, when you first try this, you're gonna feel a little bloated. That's natural. You wanna start with like half a scoop, and then as you get used to it, you're actually gonna end up feeling way less bloated. I can speak from my own journey. I've been using this for the last four months. I absolutely love it. So how I use it is I do three big spoonfuls in my coffee every morning. Like I said, you don't wanna start with three spoonfuls. You wanna start with like a half a spoonful. And it just gives your coffee this really nice, thick consistency. And then you add cinnamon to it and it's just perfect. I really like this when I'm intermittent fasting. I probably intermittent fast like four days a week right now. I'm testing it out. I'll let you guys know my results after six months. And I think that this keeps you satisfied until it's time to eat. So you're really giving your digestive system a break and using your inulin to just help you feel full and satisfied while also keeping you tight and not bloated. This is full of fiber too, and fiber really keeps things moving. So when it comes to feeling constipated, it's gonna get things going, you know what I mean? It also is known to promote weight loss. Check it out, let me know what you guys think, and if you're going to buy inulin on the internet, make sure you check out the ingredients. You don't want synthetic fillers in it. So the next thing that's gonna help you fight bloat is Pruer tea. I actually discovered this when I was in China, Beijing, like six years ago. I went around to all the tea shops and asked 80 million questions like I always do, and this is known as poo poo tea, okay? Everyone in China loves it, and basically it gets things moving. So the whole time I was in China, I drank and ordered Pu'er tea. It's spelled P-U-E-R-H. And I actually brought some back to the States, made it, and then I ran out. So I tried to find another brand that I liked, and this one is obviously doing the trick. It's Numi, it's organic Pu'er tea, it's bold, it's rich, it's delicious, and you can even put inulin in it if you want. Dr. Gundry, who recently came on our podcast, he is the author of The Plant Paradox, highly recommends Pu'er Tea too. And I hope I'm pronouncing it right. If I'm not, like, let me know in the comments below. Anyways, this is a great tea to have midday because there is caffeine in it. You don't want to end your night with it. But I do feel a lot less bloated when I drink this tea. It's probably a medley of it being Pu'er Tea and being a lot of water. I also add lemon and then some inulin. So it's like really fighting bloat at all angles. If you have to be in a bikini, I'm telling you, the shit is gold. Celery is a fantastic way to fight bloat, guys. Um, I know celery juice is such a craze right now, but I have talked with a lot of doctors and they actually recommend um, eating your celery or drinking the fiber too. So I like celery lately in a smoothie um, or eating it. You could eat it with like a chicken dish or maybe some bone broth, any of that could be fun. Um, and I like to chop it into little pieces and kind of cook it. I don't like it raw, but I don't like it overcooked, if that makes sense. So it's kind of in the middle. Um, celery is a known diuretic, and you want a diuretic if you're feeling bloated because that's gonna make you go pee. This is also gonna stimulate your stomach, which we want. I mean, I probably should cook it, but like, sometimes you just want to crunch, you know what I mean? Mm. The next no-brainer tip that I just have to recommend to you guys because it's something I do every single day is lemon and ginger. Lemon and ginger is so easy. You could even add mint if you want. They're all diuretics. Ginger is so amazing for the stomach. It's an anti-nausea, which we love. I like to put my ginger, my mint, and my lemon into a water pitcher. I'll leave the link for the one I like below. And then I like to just pour my water out of this pitcher, which is really awesome. So I just pour my water into a cup. And then I usually like to drink it with a softy straw, which is a silicone straw, and it's perfect. So ginger stimulates the body's digestive enzymes, which ends up reducing gas. So bye-bye bloat, okay? I'm actually gonna drink this right now, if you don't mind. <sighs> Love making that sound to annoy Michael. 
All right, moving right along. If you're running out the door and you don't have time to slice lemons and ginger and mint and put it in a pretty picture, I recommend Suja Juice. I've talked about this before on Instagram story. This one's the ginger love, so you're already covered with your ginger, and this one's the lemon love. I am a huge fan of both of these. They have barely any calories, um, barely any carbs, no sugar. I love these, I throw them in my bag, I'll drink half. Um, and then save the other half for the next day. So if you're the girl on the go and you're always running late, these are for you. Check them out and you could even add a mint leaf if you wanted. And then if all else fails and you're just like, oh my gosh, I am feeling so bloated, I like these fiber pills. I got these from my friend Kim Kelly, they're fiber trim pills and they basically just give you extra fiber to keep things moving. This is my last resort if bloating's really bad, we've all been there. Bloating sucks, there's nothing worse. So yeah, these are called Fibo Trim. I'll leave the link below and you guys can also message Kim on Instagram and she'll give you all the details. Her Instagram handle is at Kim Kelly Fit. As I pour myself another glass of anti-bloat water, I would love to know if you guys have any tips for flighting bloat. I, I've honestly picked up some of my favorite tips and tricks from you guys, so leave them below. And with that, I'll see you guys next week. Happy Wednesday, and make sure you're subscribed to the Skinny Confidential channel.